Welcome back to Modern Moderation, Caves and Cliffs. Connor has officially joined the Union Pacific Railroad, and I am peeping down at him through our mining tunnel. <laughs> we made our houses. Yes, we He's built our houses me. as marked off in here. What is that doing there? And before I show those off, I want to see what Connor is attempting to make out of this space. Just going to carve it out, huh? Yep. Yeah, Corn. this big scary cave. We've lit it up, we've extracted a lot of resources out of it. And with there's that, a still a lot more. <laughs> yeah, there's plenty more. Actually. But with that, we have managed to build nope. up our Never houses. Mind. There's water. This is Warrior's property. He's got... Kind of a discombobulated storage array. And a bedroom built for one. And now it's asymmetric glory. Hey, hey, hey. Hey now. You're a rock Just star? because I'm lonely doesn't mean... <laughs> hey doesn't now. mean I don't get a good bedroom. <laughs> Alright. And then this is my half of the property. Yes, I actually built it. I got a roof on it. I didn't record it, because it, it took forever. But it's done, and I'm happy with it. We've got a main foyer here. This is going to be the storage and, like, crafting utility oh. room. This is like a side room that leads up to the second story. And my bedroom's right up here. So as for things that we plan to do today, I actually built a clipboard from Create so I could keep track of everything. I, for one, want to start up a smeltery right about now, and thanks to my brilliant planning, we have everything we need right in this sack. So I'm going to pick it up and move it over to this conveniently shaped hole in the wall and start building. I'm looking for passion fruit in the jungle. I thought I got some of that. I got rosewood trees. That's what I got. This jungle was entirely too small. Are you really going to complain about that? Okay, thank you. A small jungle? Yeah. No, I was talking to the smeltery that was acting all kind of funny. Like, yeah, that's a valid assembly. It probably wants so, more suit bricks, but I'm not doing that. To explain oh, to they're magma everyone, bricks. that's not good. If they're watching, um, Chance is not going to join us. He's not feeling well. Pink's setup decided to um, not work <laughs> in, in very... Very short. Will not work. Um, and Desmo's gonna be late. So I'm gonna go ahead and break down this melter. It's basically a tiny version of a smeltery that doesn't allow you to alloy things, so it's not really worth much to me anymore. Thermal processing. This is something that's still a major part of the pack, as thermal is our big power and utility mod. I also have a sack set up for all the things that we can build out of that. Got all of our individual components prepared. I do need... I also have a backlog of ore that needs to be processed. Oh. You that and me very both. nice. So I believe I got some yeah, stone there. Oh, hey, I found another village. I actually bookmarked all of these recipes. And I need more iron and more yeah, stuff. Where the rest of my sacks go? All right, Sterling Dynamo. They do oh, not take water anymore. My sacks are gone. So how is a Sterling Dynamo if it doesn't use water? You're thinking of a steam dynamo. Doesn't a Sterling engine require water? No, a Sterling op engine operates on heat. Oh. And I'm going to have to 
go ahead and clear all these existing things out of the way. <laughs> What's so funny? Uh, uh, this waystone is called Buy You Buy You. <laughs> I'm sorry, oh, what? I found my sex. It's... <laughs> It's it's a waystone in the middle of the forest called Buy You Buy You. <laughs> okay. It's just funny because a it's not in a bayou and b it's called Buy You Buy You. <laughs> anyway, look at that. Really easy to set everything up when you pre-craft all the things you need. So I'm going to go ahead and chuck some charcoal into the sterling generator and start pulverizing some iron. Can the sterling generator take, uh, yeah, it can take other types of wood products, correct? If I made like a wood farm, I could power it. Yes. And it's not working because it doesn't have enough power. Yeah, I'm gonna have to let those charge up. Oh my god, there's another village down here. This one's in a savannah, though. So what you're saying is... You're having my village luck. Yeah, I just keep running into vill- I I'm looking for passion fruit. So I can make passion fruit sorbet. And, uh... Passion fruit candy and stuff. And I just keep running into villages instead. Yes, for some reason, Warrior seems to have devoted himself into finding the most powerful food he can. And I'm not entirely sure why. I am hungry, need food. We have food. He wa he just wants specifically food that we don't already have for some reason. And anyway, so I exploration. Sure. So something I did for this pack is that pulverizing raw iron instead of giving you dust, it gives you the crushed raw stuff from create. Which you can directly smelt into an ingot, so that remains unchanged. But you can also wash it for a chance of secondary products, as well as centrifugally separating it. Alright, Connor, you've had like 10 minutes. You better have a freaking house built by now. I got a wall. <laughs> I see. I don't remember what I called my elephant last time. Uh, Dumbo. <clears throat> it was not Dumbo. No, it was Bumbo, the copyright oh, neutral yeah. elephant. Yeah. That's what it was, it was Bumbo. <laughs> That's what I was like, Dumbo's close, let me see if that'll remind him. Bumbo, the copyright <laughs> neutral elephant. Didn't it have sunglasses too? Yes, it did. <laughs> I remember it choking on its own breath. It was it a probably tragedy. found a peanut and was like... Ah, ah. Apparently it had a peanut allergy. Yes. An elephant with a peanut allergy. That's... Yeah, as, al as all elephants do, apparently. <laughs> Ooh. Yoink? Warrior is yoinking things, and I am concerned. Well, I didn't find any passion fruit. Gosh, I had my door open so the cat could get out, but it, there's too much noise. I, Actually, I I did find the right biome. I came looking for bronze. I found gold. What I really need to do is, you know, invest in some good armor. But now that I've got or processing up and running, I can actually afford to do that. So I'm going to be putting more machines right there. So Did I you find vanilla? Huh? Did you find vanilla? Huh? 
Huh? No, I found an acacia blossom. Oh, damn. Vanilla does spawn in that biome. If you do so. find any vanilla, I'll come to your house and grab some. In the meantime, this I am making price myself the cheese ball a cheese pays for talking over people. What did I do? I was so proud of figuring out how to do that. <laughs> you ate lead? Is that what that meant? <laughs> yes. Sappa. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. It'd be the sweet assault if it wasn't also poisonous. <laughs> Ow. How do you eat the lead? You have to pulverize it into a dust. Yeah. Some reading lead now. <clears throat> you can't eat a lead ingot like you would a piece of spam. It has to be pulverized into a powder. Ah. Uh. It's a but reference to the fact that the Romans used to, like, eat lead. Well, not directly, but... Kind of. They made this stuff called sapa, which is basically lead salts, and it was sweet, and they used to sweeten things with it. Little did they know. <laughs> lead salt and normal salt. Very different. Those poor Romans never saw it coming. Mostly because... Lead poisoning makes you go blind. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Alright, let's see. What can I do in Create? I want to get into I'm that. I'm in the mood for making some vegetable soup. Let's make some vegetable soup. Okay, that's pretty much what I expected. I have to do a lot of healing after eating that lead. <laughs> Good god. Oh fuck. Come on, Stampy. Let's go. He got his Elephante <sighs> back. I don't know what I can feed it, actually. So I can't just... What can I feed you? <laughs> how do I smash Kind of an ironic, ironic statement, mm -hmm. looking back at Crucial 2, and how you tried to feed it literally everything possible. <laughs> Anyway, well, that's cooking. Yeah, I'm gonna I go guess I it. will not be making that because I need to be able to smush it. That didn't work too well. I need to be able to smush the iron into plates to make that. Damn. There's the Enderman. Excuse me. Starting server back up. Oh, there's maggots over here. Tasty. Yeah, by the way, off screen, I know I keep saying off screen, but that's just how it works. We kill, me and Warrior both managed to get backpacks dropped from mobs, so that's why I've got a magnet and a feeding upgrade. And let's see, what else have I got? I found engineer's goggles, and we've each found a fair share of artifacts. So. I need to go back into the mine. Do you need to swing your pickaxe from side to side? <laughs> I mean, in real life, ele elephants can... Don't leave, don't leave us hanging, what can elephants do? They can eat watermelon in real life. Oh, I did eat a watermelon! Alright, I'll take these food items down there, so I got some food Backup to eat while I'm in the in mine. Alright, sevens. 60, right. I'm gonna have to figure out how to get this guy back home. But I will that. do it. So how far away are you? Uh, pretty far. So if anyone wants to know the progress at the Cheese Ball Brewery, oh, uh, the brewery is not very successful right now, unfortunately. Because we'll quit we... quit cheesing off into your alcohol. No. Um, the cake barrels... I don't want any more of his alcohol anymore. Uh, the keg barrels are having a graphical glitch, uh, server issue, not mod pack issue. Um, like some of the trampled my crops. Is that so, Desmo? Yeah. <clears throat> it's Desmo. But I got a farm, at least. So basically, you might just change the name to far uh, Ch Chez Farms. Because I don't think we're going to get the brewery going. 
Yeah, I might as well do it. But, uh, a couple of crops. 